Happy Tuesday! Oh, sorry. <laughs> I got pear. Okay, there we go. Hey, Huns! It is Tuesday. Um, you saw that on my Money Monday. I also said it was Tuesday because I never got anything wrong for Monday. Not really. Um, yeah, so this is Tuesday, picking up a different little thing. <sighs> I am supposed to be to do Tuesday. Made my to do list. Why is my to do list always long? And it's always the same crap on my to do list. A lot of it is my morning routine. I don't know if I've ever showed y'all. I do have a morning routine posted on the inside of my kitchen cabinet. Um, beds, meds, threads, or treads. That was a treadmill. Oh uh, yeah, we hadn't had it up in forever. After, since Christmas. Um, do my Bible study, supper prep, dishes, chore of the day, and then I always swish and swipe the bathroom, and then the chore of the day would change. This is when I was still going to the Y. Um, yeah. And then the project of the day. I need to change this. This is like two years old. So, and then my night routine basically needs to stay the same. Cook supper, do the dishes, wash the tables and the counters, sweep and mop the floor. Uh, well, I'll sweep every night and then mop the floor Tuesday and Friday. And then pick up before bed. Pick up the whole house before bed. That is working out great. And then laundry every day. Um, I, I did sign days. Brian was Monday. Kira Tuesday. Me Wednesday. Becca Thursday. Me Saturday. And then Fridays is needed. That needs to change. Um, yeah, that needs to change. Um, so that's something I need to update. But today for my to do Thursday, uh, to do Tuesday, one, we are having Taco Tuesday. Oh, I have had these taco shells in there. Oh, they're still good. They're good till August. Um, they just kept getting pushed back and pushed back and pushed back. And that's something we're going to kind of get into. And I touched on a little bit on Monday, Mon Money Monday. Oh, that is so hard for me to say, y'all. Um, we're going to do some refried beans to kind of bulk up our um, meat. I don't know if I ever showed y'all about taco rice. I need to do a segment on taco rice. I might need to make some. Taco rice is a freezer, plan ahead, stretch meal. It's where you go ahead and brown up your hamburger meat and you add your black beans and kidney beans or chili beans. I did uh, black beans and chili beans and then rice and then a little bit of taco seasoning, maybe one taco seasoning pack to four times the recipe. I mean, I would quadruple the recipe and then do like quart size bags. And it would be taco stuff for one time a week for like two months. Like seriously. And all you had to do, and you froze it. Froze it in those quart size bags. And then like the night, night before that you wanted to make tacos, you'd go ahead and take it out. Um, I did it for a ladies group where I'd invited all the ladies. This was back when we lived at the farm. I'd invited all the ladies from our church to come over for a movie night. Well, before the movie, um, it was, uh, oh, what was the mom movie? Anywho, I'd invited over Mom's Night Out, Mom's Night Out, the Christian mom movie. Um, we had tacos, but I served the taco rice to make it stretch. And everybody just loved it. It tastes wonderful. And it is a way of making that hamburger meat stretch. Like truly, truly stretch. So I might do that tonight. And then, because I've got these 12 crunchy shells, and then I've got some tortillas. Um that I gotten that need to be used. 
And then like I said, we've got these refried beans. I'll probably do on the side. But to make sure that I don't forget to do taco rice, I'm going to go ahead and go in the pantry as we speak. Walking through. Um, a, I need to go get some more laundry. But to do Tuesday, um, I am working on laundry. This is empty. In here is all the blankets from the den. When I was sweeping the den, um, I realized the pet blanket needed to be washed like super bad. But there's some juice in here. Yeah, see, I don't even know what I got in here. Well, but I'm gonna take this rice and I'm gonna put it in there. I'm gonna get black beans instead, burn it. Um, see, this would solve a lot of my walking back and forth. If I go ahead and get those shelves in here. Yeah. Yeah. And I thought about instead of the metal table, maybe that deep freezer, but all that would not fit. It, it just would not fit. Not in the room. Not in the space that I have. We do have enough space to put the metal shelves there. And then my metal island here. And then I can put my microwave on top of that metal island. Yeah. Yeah. That's how we're... That's how we're going to roll with this operation. <laughs> oh, Lord have mercy. Um, my sister gave me a great idea. Still, just a catch-all landing spot. Not serving a purpose. Um, hey, my food would stay cooler. He would solve my going back and forth, going back and forth. Run to the pantry and get this. Run to the pantry and get that. Yeah. It would solve that dilemma. Um, yeah, it's hot as Hades in here. Like, for real. Alright, I'm getting black beans. I'm going to go ahead and make up enough of the taco rice to do, um, like, four tonight. And then four, I'm going to turn that light out because I hate Lights produce heat, y'all. Lights produce heat. Um, I'm going to go ahead and make enough for like maybe four times or at least three times. So, I got, oh, I did grab one mild chili, one kidney bean, and then two black beans. And then I got my rice. So, yeah. I might brown up my hamburger meat here in just a little bit. I'm going to get that browned up. Go ahead and get the rice made. I can go ahead and pre-make the uh, taco rice. I think that's what I'm going to do. It is now 12.15. I can go ahead and pre-make it. And then that will give us taco rice for like next Thursday. That would be a quick meal. All I'd have to do is thaw it out the night before in the refrigerator. And we can do like taco salad. Or I know I've got another box of taco shells in there. And I've got some more tortillas. So boom. Another taco night. And we could do that Thursday. Um, gamma treatment day. So I usually try to have something easy for gamma day. Um, this gamma day, oh, we're going to do the teriyaki stir fry with rice. Um, yeah, yeah, it's just teriyaki chicken. I already bought pre done, and the stir fry is pre done. That's in fact going to be our frugal food. I'm going to vlog it, even though we're doing it Thursday. That's going to be frugal Friday. So, yeah, yeah, okay, we are back. Still Tuesday. Yeah, I got me a helper. Yeah, today in the kitchen with. Yeah, hey, sweet girl. Hey, sweet girl. Yeah, you see yourself? Do you see yourself? So, I finally did find, yay, my taco rice recipe. And no, it wasn't, uh oh, we're going to put y'all right there. No, it wasn't crazy. Well, okay, I am crazy, but not about that. I knew I had one. Yeah. Okay, that's better. 
All right. Yeah. I will leave. <laughs> Say hi, Opa. Hi, Opa. Hi, big girl. <laughs> So we're talking about taco rice. Mm -hmm. Hadn't had it in forever. And we need to do it and stretch this mm -hmm. hamburger meat. Mm -hmm. <coughs> oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Did it have a bone in it? Uh, yeah. Yeah, did it have a bone in it? Okay. So, Opa, you might have to get to play with me. Why Oma gets supper going. She wants your camera. She does. She loves seeing herself. <coughs> oh my goodness. Ooh. you hear that? Yeah, that thunder? Yeah, that's about a big one. A belly yeah. washer. Yeah. A frog flutter. Yeah. Hello. 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 She wants my partner. Oh, she wants his own mop. <laughs> yeah, you like yourself in the camera. Say, hey, Uncle Brian. Hi. Hey, Uncle Brian. Hi. Yes, Brian, they love your curls. He gets his curls from me. He's the only curly headed hey. one I got. <laughs> Becca, no, Becca right. has a few waves to hers, but nothing. Like our ringlets. And if it rains, that, you can tell when it's going to rain and you can tell when we've got a fever. Cause, My knees hurt. Well, your hair will get curlier. Yeah. Our I hair gets that. way yeah. curlier. Yeah. Oh, my God. My knees hurt from all the running. Uh, yeah. right. so, but I am going to leave a recipe. Yeah. I'll leave the recipe for taco rice down at the bottom. Uh, in the description box, but I'm also gonna because I know some of y'all are able to screenshot and save. Oh. Yeah, but what I like about it is it gives you oh. like if you want to make four times the amount or six times the amount or you know however many like if I make two batches of it, it's gonna serve twelve people. See where the number two is? If you two recipes. Girlfriend snatched my hair. You little turkey. You turkey bum. You turkey bum. Mwah. So, because I've got two pounds of ground beef, I can look at this and where it says ground beef. And it will work with ground beef, chicken, or turkey. Um, I can actually make two bags um, or two servings. And it does 12 people. So, um... Yeah, I need to go ahead and get my rice going for a double batch. It takes four cups of pre-cooked rice. Yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and get my rice going. Right? We need to go ahead and get our rice going? We do. <laughs> All right, for taco rice. You, like I said, I'm just doubling the batch. I'm doing a two. Oh my goodness, somebody's not happy. I'm doing the two serving or two recipes of it. It's going to do for 12 people. So I need two pounds of ground beef, two cups of diced onion. It calls for two taco seasoning packets. I always divide that in half. I do not use, for one section I would use half, I'm only going to use one taco seasoning packet. Um, 32 ounce can of tomatoes, 4 cups of white or brown rice, you can use white, brown, or collie rice, whatever you choose, and then 4 cups of shredded cheddar cheese. So I'm going to go ahead and cook my rice because it's calling for cooked rice. And I'm going to go ahead and start browning my ground beef. There's a sweet angel. Once it's browned, you actually brown the meat and drain. And then you're going to combine your meat 
Your onions, hey! Taco seasoning, the cooked rice, and the tomatoes. And you're going to simmer until thick about 30 minutes. Now, we also add white beans and either chili beans. Yeah, mild chili beans and black beans. And I have been known to put corn in it too. Whatever we got on hand to make it stretch, we have used. Yeah, seriously. Um, and like where it's calling for two pounds of ground beef, I've been known to double up all my stuff except the hamburger meat. And that's when you throw some extra cans of beans or extra cans of corn in there to make it stretch. <laughs> Yeah, if you got extra company coming that you didn't know you'd run your honey in there and you'd throw some more beans in the pot. You know what I'm saying? Just saying. Alright, so my rice is going. I'm going to start browning my meat. Okay, this time browning up my hamburger meat with my trusty little dice, chopper, whatever you want to call it. I love this thing. Like I said, Pampered Chef sells one. That sucker's like 18 something bucks. I got this one at the Walmart. They got they got beef grinders on show up there at the Walmart. <laughs> uh, Alright, so I'm just working on browning our meat. If you hear thunder in the background, welcome to Alabama. Yeah. Hey. Hey, I have an assistant. She is helping me. Yeah. Yeah, she's like li literally on my feet. Yeah. Yeah. You're sitting on my feet. I'm getting between her. Uh-uh. Wait, you got to back up a little bit. You're too close to the stove. Come on. Come over this way. She's too close to the oven. I don't want this gray splattering on her. Fat man! Come get your baby girl. She's looking for him, too. She looks. She's looking. Where's Opa? Where's Opa? Where's Opa? Uh-oh. She's trying to hide from me. Oh. You know you love Opa. Alice. Where's Alice Marie? Where's Alice Marie? She is wanting her own mom. That, that's a pitiful cry if I ever heard one. Take her down there and go play. Take it down, truck. There you go. Move on. <laughs> so I'm browning my hamburger meat. I'm going to go ahead and start getting my cans open. Like I said, the actual recipe, and I'm actually going to just post the actual recipe down in this description box. It, with the assembly instructions and the freezing instructions, and then how you can cook it, you know, from frozen. And just note, um, I'm adding beans to ours to make it stretch a little bit more. Like I said, I've got one can of black beans. One can of mild chilies and one can of kidney. And I'm still going to put in the exact amount of um, canned tomatoes that it's calling for. For my particular set, I'm doing 32 ounces. Um, well, it's not exactly 32. I've got 14 and a half ounce cans. So 14 and 14 is 28, and then the half. I'm adding, I guess I'll just add the two. Two cans of diced tomatoes. See what it looks like. Uh oh, there goes her stacking right. Hi, girlfriend. So I'm going to add two and then see what it looks like. We'll go from there. The rice is burling, so we're going to turn that down. Yeah, we got it going now, y'all. We got it going. I could be cutting my onion. Okay, I hope I had to take my wonderful little assistant outside. 
she kept trying to crawl up Omaha's pants leg. <laughs> and I did not want her around popping grease, you know what I mean? Um, but, and bless her heart, she was just, eh, he was like, let me see some real tears. <laughs> what in tier one falling out of them eyes? <laughs> They took her outside, and she's just laughing now, so. Because she, she, she loves going with him. Because she knows that means it's going to be playtime with Opa. He's got trucks, and he was the, he were, oh, her dump truck it in here. He was the buyer of the dump truck. Let's just put that out there, okay? Um, he's already looking at a battery-operated gator for her. <laughs> You know, like the little Barbie Jeeps. He won't say John Deere Gator for her. <laughs> Yeah. Y'all coming back in? Yeah, Lucky left us. Oh, they had Lucky Kitty. All right, so where we're at now is we've got our hamburger meat ground up, browned up. My rice is done. I am just kind of pulled it off the heat. I'm going to drain this meat, and then we're going to do the next step. Okay, I've got my hamburger meat draining. Um, I've got my beans I've drained. Our rice is, oh, that's hot. Our rice is done. Sorry about the steam, y'all. Hey. Went ahead and put my onions in the pan. And what we're going to do is we're just going to assemble all of it together, including our diced tomatoes, everything but your cheese, okay? Um, yeah, combine meat, onion, taco seasoning packets, cooked rice, and tomatoes in your saucepan. And I'm adding my beans. Um, simmer until thick, about 30 minutes. And then we're going to actually eat a batch tonight. I'm not even going to divide it off into batches. I'm just going to let everybody have a free-for-all. Whatever we use, we use. Whatever's left will be frozen after it cools off. And I'll just label it. I'll put it in a freezer bag, and I'll label it. And in two weeks, we'll have taco rice again. And all I literally have to do is just pull that out of the freezer the night before, stick it in the refrigerator, come taco night, Heat it up real fast and boom. So while I'm cooking it tonight, I'm going to go ahead and prep and cook for another night. Yes, yes. Think about it. If you can do your meals that way, for every meal you make, go ahead and double it. Make two meals. It's just as easy. I was making rice anyway. Go ahead and double it. And then that way you've got two meals. One for that night and one to go in the freezer. Yeah. Yeah, it, I I used to could do the once a month cooking thing where I would get in the kitchen and cook up, you know, 15 different meals or whatever. In fact, this was one that I used to would look at and it's like, okay, I know we want taco, taco rice four times. And it would be four pounds of hamburger meat. And I, you know, and I would look, okay, we also want sloppy joes. It would be four pounds of hamburger meat. I'd get my big stock pot and I would brown up ten pounds of hamburger meat for the different recipes we had. With taco rice, sloppy joes, spaghetti. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Um, I can't hold out and do that no more. I just can't. But I can double recipes. I'm just saying. So, yeah. Yeah. So, I've added my onions to the skillet. This hamburger meat is probably drained. How I drain mine is I just take my colander and I put it over a bowl. And I just poured it from my skillet into the colander and I just let it sit while I was running my pie hole. And that's what we got left. Okay? So, that's how I drain ours. We can't let any grease go down our drain whatsoever. We think that's what makes the washer clog up. So, no grease. No grease. No grease. Yeah. yeah. Say that. Alright, this is what taco rice looks like. This sweet nugget. Hey, sweet nugget. Broke my taco <laughs> shell. There's Becca's taco. She's got a true taco. Your best got a taco. 
that man's doing a tortilla. He's got some hot sauce. But yeah, you just, even if you had just plain chips or whatever, but that is taco rice. And you just do, we've got lettuce, we've got cheese that we're adding to it, and boom, taco rice. Okay. Baby girl likes it. You like it? Okay, yes, she <laughs> likes it. So, but yeah, put on your Mexican Taco Tuesday, y'all. Becca, say bye. Bye. Quit